factual passages. In this module, you will learn to comprehend factual passages and answer questions based on them. You have already learnt in previous class what factual texts are. The texts which give us facts and information about any real event, person, place or any topic under discussion are called factual texts. A factual text is composed of facts and information. It allows the readers to get comprehensive information about the subject under discussion. It gives a brief description about the topic by stating details in the best possible manner. This helps the readers to gather facts, data or other relevant information from the text. For example, newspapers, magazines, biographies and scientific journals are non-fictional texts. Factual texts can be written in many forms. They can be factual description which describes a place or thing using facts, factual recount which retells an event which has already occurred in the past, information report that describes and gives factual information about people, places, situations or phenomena, Procedures which give instruction on how to make or do something. Procedural recount that tells how something was made or done in past. Explanation that aims to explain how or why something happens. Let us now discuss the features of factual texts. The images that accompany a factual text relate to real life people, places, situations or phenomena. The keywords in non-fiction texts are generally highlighted. Pie charts, graphs, flowcharts, etc. are also sometimes included to provide facts related to numbers, ratio, percentage, process or hierarchy. Diagrams, if included, are well labeled to make the comprehension easier. Picture captions, subheadings and glossary may also be included to make the comprehension easier. Now let's read a factual text about Mahatma Gandhi. Mahatma Gandhi, popularly known as Father of Nation, was born on 2nd October 1869. His real name was Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi. He was born in a small town of Gujarat. His father, Karamchand Gandhi, was the Divan of Port Bandar state. His mother, Putli Bai, was a very religious lady. Gandhiji played a major role in India's freedom struggle. He became the leader of the Indian National Congress and advocated a policy of non-violence and non-cooperation. He organized boycotts against British institutions in peaceful forms of civil disobedience. He encouraged his followers to practice inner discipline to get ready for independence. In the late afternoon of January 30, 1948, the 78-year-old Gandhi was assassinated by Nathuram Goetze. The passage that you just read about Mahatma Gandhi is a factual text as he was a real person, not any imaginary character. His biography tells us facts about his life. Now that you have understood what factual texts are, let's try to attempt questions based on a factual passage. When you get a factual text as a comprehension passage in your exam, you need to follow certain instructions to answer the questions asked. Let us understand these instructions through the following sample factual passage. One of the world's greatest educators who looked upon a child as an individual and a very special human being was Maria Montessori. She gave the very young children the stimulating kindergarten where children grew in an atmosphere of freedom and confidence. Maria Montessori was born in Chiaravalle near Ancona, Italy in 1870. As a little girl, she was a dull student, unable to grasp and retain what her teacher taught her. At the age of 10, 
she suddenly changed. Besides her heightened interest in religion, she felt she had a long way to go. Maria began topping her class and her parents felt that she should become a teacher. But she was determined to become an engineer. At the age of 14, she attended a technical school for boys. After a year, she took up biology and decided to study medicine. In spite of a strong opposition from her father, she went ahead with medicine. Maria became the first Italian woman to receive a medical degree after she graduated from the University of Rome in 1896. After getting her degree, she joined the university's psychiatric clinic. As a part of her duty, she had to visit the city's mental asylum where disabled children were housed with the insane. She watched the children shriek, stretching their hands out with an urge to reach out or to touch something. Maria felt they needed a normal and friendlier environment and a contact with the world. She worked out ways by which she could help the disabled children. Dr. Vasily opened an experimental state school for disabled children with Dr. Maria Montessori as its head. Maria spent long hours, almost 12 hours of the day, with children observing them and finding out what could really help them. After two years of hard work, her students took the normal state school examination and her children proved that they were not hopeless cases. In fact, many did almost as well as other normal children. Let us now read the questions to be answered. 1. How did Maria Montessori look upon children? 2. What was Maria Montessori's problem as a child? 3. What changes came in her when she was 10 years old? 4. What were Maria's parents opposed to and why? 5. What did she do after obtaining her medical degree? To answer the questions, we first need to get an overview of the passage. This can be done by skimming the passage. As you already know, while skimming, we read a text quickly without reading everything with the same attention. Let's skim the passage now. We get to know that the passage tells us about Maria Montessori and presents her as the world's best educator. It describes her role in the upliftment of disabled children. But how do we answer the questions based on this passage? For this, we need to scan the passage. We know that scanning helps us to identify a specific piece of information as required in the question. While scanning, we read a text quickly with specific aims and look for keywords. Now, the first question is, how did Maria Montessori look upon children? Let us try to look for its answer in the passage. We can find a related sentence in the first paragraph itself. This gives us the required answer. How did Maria Montessori look upon children? Answer. Maria Montessori looked upon children as separate individuals and very special human beings. Now let's move on to the second question. What was Maria Montessori's problem as a child? Scan the passage again. The second paragraph explains Maria Montessori's problems as a child. So we can rephrase this sentence to get the answer. What was Maria Montessori's problem as a child? Answer. As a child, Maria Montessori was a dull student. She was unable to grasp and retain what her teacher taught her. The third question is, what changes came in her when she was 10 years old? For answering this question, we'll have to scan the passage again. The highlighted sentences talk about the changes that took place in her when she was 10 years old. This part gives us the answer to our question. What changes came in her when she was 10 years old? Answer. When Maria Montessori was 10 years old, she developed great interest in religion and felt she had a long way to go. 
she began topping her class and her parents felt that she should become a teacher. The fourth question is, what were Maria's parents opposed to and why? Let's scan the passage to get a related text. In the third paragraph, we find a sentence that relates to her parents' opposition. So this can be used as our answer. What were Maria's parents opposed to and why? Answer. Maria's parents were opposed to her decision of studying medicine because they wanted her to become a teacher. The last question is, what did she do after obtaining her medical degree? Scan the passage to answer this question. In the last paragraph, we find a sentence that tells what Maria did after getting her degree. So we can frame our answer using this sentence. What did she do after obtaining her medical degree? Answer. After obtaining her medical degree, she joined the psychiatric clinic of the University of Rome from where she had done her graduation in medicine. Let's revise the steps we have followed to comprehend the passage and answer the questions based on it. Skim the passage to understand its overview or main idea. Read the questions and identify the keywords. Scan the text for these keywords or any other related piece of text. Now rephrase the given information to answer the question. Let's practice. Read the passage and answer the questions that follow. Let's recap. The texts which give us facts and information about any real event, person, place or any topic under discussion are called factual texts. Descriptions, recounts, information reports, procedures and explanations are some common forms of factual texts. Real images, highlighted keywords, pie charts, graphs, well-labeled diagrams, picture captions, glossary, etc. are some features of non-fiction texts. To answer the questions based on a non-fiction text, we skim the passage to understand its overview or main idea, read the questions and identify the keywords, scan the text for these keywords or any other related piece of text, rephrase the given information to answer the question.